So it's Monday the 11th of February, um, just heading down to Leeds train station now, um, then getting the train down to King's Cross, a couple of tubes over to Heathrow, um, where I will then fly out to Bulgaria tomorrow, and then come Thursday, I'm going to box in the International Strandra Tournament in Bulgaria. Um, ready to go, let's do this. So, finally got to the hotel, time to chill out, get something to eat, get some sleep, and we'll fly to Bulgaria, 8am tomorrow. So it's like half five in the morning, and I'm just heading to the airport now, flight's at by eight o'clock. Tired. No hotel breakfast. Yeah, miss out on the breakfast. Just need a little coffee from the room and we're good to go. So I've just landed in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now because we were up at five o'clock this morning. Um, just got to grab our bags. Not got too um, too far of a, a transfer to go to the hotel. Um, with any luck, hotels a bit better than uh, than they usually are, and we've got somewhere nice to stay. So just got to the hotel. Um, beautiful five star accommodation as always. Sharing with Big Soul. We've got the concrete beds. We've got the uh, the tombstone single beds. I mean, imagine being that size and having a. <laughs> I'm going to lay in one of those for five days. Um, so it's now Thursday the 14th of February. Valentine's Day and I'm in uh, Bulgaria. I'm sure the missus is happy about that. But anyway, um, competition starts today. Weighed in this morning, um, 69 kilos, bang on, on the dot. Um, and we all went back to bed for a few hours. The draw was not due to be done while 11 o'clock. Um, so the draw was done and I'm boxing China today. Um, that'll be at about half past six this evening. So, I've had a bit of breakfast, chilled out for a bit, done the um, video analysis. I can't find any videos on my opponent, um, so it's just a case of going in there and, and dealing with, with whatever, whatever he throws at me. Saying you can see the, um, the venue from a hotel room, I mean, there's not really a lot to look at. I'm guessing the town's over there, but the venue is actually that building just there <laughs> guys quick update for you um, box today box really well drew the Chinese boxer um, so got the win unanimous decision for a box brilliantly um, unfortunately as you might have noticed picked up a little cut um, about halfway through the third round um, now unfortunately I'm just waiting on the doctor because um, they've deemed that the cut is too bad um, to just put butterfly stitches on so it's going to have to have full external stitches 
um, and then that means that unfortunately I'm not going to be able to box again um, in this tournament because you can't box while you have external stitches um, so a little bit disappointed with that and that's the end of my tournament now um, but I just have to focus on the positives in that I box really well um, I sort of box well at the new weight got a good performance in um, and yeah I'm just going to have to like I say focus on the positives just on the way down to the venue now um, got some hot page my 60 kilo girl She's the only one out of the team boxing today, um, so I'll get down there, get behind her and support her. And uh, I think we've got three of the lads boxing tomorrow. Um, so about half past 10 last night, um, the American doctor came and helped us out, stitched me up. So there's five external stitches in there. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks a lot better than it did last night. Um, obviously a bit, well, obviously very disappointed not to be, um, not to be able to box on Saturday because you know, I've got the external stitches now that's me out of the competition and um, but I've just got to focus on the positives I boxed well you know even though I'm not boxing on Saturday I still got the win I put in a good performance so yeah got to focus on that Now. So, me and Sol are out the tournament, you know, unfortunate and that, but um, so we're gonna get a little taxi, go into the town centre. What are you saying? You go into the town centre um, to see what's about. Getting a bit sick of looking at them same four walls in that hotel room, so yeah, come along, see what's with us, see what's about. It's a red light, I'm sure. Just drew through a red light. Finally back on English soil. It's good to be home. Well, kind of home. Still got um, the drive up to Leeds, which is probably going to take four or five hours. So long journey back home, but nice. Nah, good to be on there. Good to be back. So it's now Monday the 25th. Um, back down in Sheffield. Back training. Um, last video I did, I think I was just coming through Heathrow Airport. We just landed. Um, we had a bit of a long drive home. Uh, we didn't land while, I don't think we got out of the airport while nearly five o'clock, so we were expecting to hit all the rush hour traffic. Um, luckily, uh, we didn't hit that much traffic. We did we had a pretty clear run. Uh, did it in about four hours, I think. So, but even still, it was getting a bit late by the time I got home, so I didn't do a video once I got home. Um, so this is just like a little recap, finish things off. Um, I had the stitches out on Friday, so they'll have been in just over a week. And um, as you can see, it's nice and neat. You know, I think, had I gone to a Bulgarian A&E, it wouldn't have been quite as neat. It might have been a bit of a butcher's job. Um, so, you know, I can't thank the American doctor for sort of helping us out with that. It's a nice, neat, you know, a nice, neat. I mean, it's gonna scar a little bit, but you know, it's, what can you, know, what can you do? Um, so yeah, back to Sheffield today. Probably won't be, well, not gonna be sparring for the next, probably another two weeks. So by the time I'm back sparring, I'll have had three weeks out of sparring. Um, no tournaments booked in, so you know, there's, there's no rush, just emphasis on letting this heal. 
um, and then we'll, we'll get back to sparring. But this has just been a little insight into the life of a, a GB boxer, what we get up to and how the tournaments run, you know, the day-to-day -day schedule of, of what we do when we're out on these international tournaments. Um, you know, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've had a little insight. Cheers, guys.